Hey, it's Dan, and welcome to Unified Gaming. So in this one, we are kind of part two of the initial stream. So if you've missed that, that was on the channel. That was focusing primarily on the uh, Nightblade and on the gank build. And we're going to focus this part on Sorcerer and maybe some other classes if we can get into Cyrodiil quick enough. Um, I'll give it a couple of minutes for like, people to find the stream and so on. But um, yeah, apologies for kind of that. That was a bit unfortunate. Look at that 122 FPS now. It's mad, that absolutely mad. Uh, so yeah, apologies for the uh, awkwardness there. So yeah, we can go back and queue for Cyrodiil again. It says, oh, oh, we're still in the queue. Awesome. We didn't lo lose our queue place. We're, we're first. So yeah, uh, we're queued for Cyrodiil. Uh, we're first, so we should be in any moment. And then we are a vampire, so we're going to feed quickly whilst we're waiting. We get uh, two feeds quick, just to reset our vampire stage three, and then jump straight into Cyrodiil. And I'll show you what the sort can do. It's really good. Really, really good build. There you go. Okay, in Cyrodiil we go. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're back in Cyrodiil now. Um, let's see where the combat is. Uh, okay, let's go down to Nickel. Okay, we're on our way to Nickel. Obviously, as always, questions and whatnot. Um, it says there's fighting down here. So I've just put my buffs on. And yeah, we're just going to regroup. Uh, kind of see what's been happening with the campaign. I've got 25k health, so I am squishier, per se. So we just need to be mindful that if we are uh, on our mount and stuff, just to be ready to react. Because obviously, you could one-shot this if you are very quick with your combo. The uh, death deal is that when that procs will fix all that. So this is yellow. There's a guy that's run up there. Oh, no, no, quite a few of them. Yeah, so we're just going to streak it right away and just put on some of our buffs and see if anybody follows us. We've got loads of guards following us. That's not really what we want, is it? Anybody following us? Let's have a little look, see. Which is there? Okay, so we're gonna streak this way. So we're just pulling some people over here to see if they'll follow us. So that sort's come with us. He's one for a gank. Put a curse on him. Go for a streak for him. That's him dead. You can see the... Uh... Oh, hello. He's dead. I love me some Sulk. Sulk's very good.
Pop. So we're just going to just reset some of our resources. Shield and streak away. Roll and shield. I really like Maxhawk. Oh, there's a Nightblade over there. Go for streak for him. He's dead. Oh my goodness, the burst. The burst on the Sork is glorious. Like so much damage. Go for a streak for him. He's dead. Person name streak through that. Dead. Oh. What do you guys think of Sorcerer, by the way? You think it's pretty decent, or do you think it's probably a bit too broke? <laughs> or maybe needs a buff. There are lots of yellows up there. Oh, 9k fra uh, fragged at that. We've got lots of siege coming into us. So much siege. It was just going to reset some of our magicka. Uh, Super says, my main character is Magsalk using one of your builds, actually. Yeah, Salk's so good. It's good that I'm glad it's working for you. Oh, go for a cheeky potion. Just heal with our shield. Um, are you using the one bar mag Salk or the two bar? Coming in. Scavenge and demise. I got him. Okay, we're gonna streak. We got a lot of stuff coming in for us. So we're just resetting our resources. Yeah, this this is a slight tweak to my two bar version. Dead. Oh. Yeah, the one bar stalk I think has a really good set of um, like stats for what it is. I can't see him. He's a misform. It's such a weird bug. We're just going to streak up the hill and just see if we can pull some people with us. Yeah, they're not coming. They are not baiting. They do not want to be baited. Two on the right, so I'm just straight behind the building. Block that. Go for a... Okay, so we've got some people with us. So we're going to pull them over and see if we can get some kills over here. Just get some healing up going. Ah, oh, I've got him there for 11k frag. <laughs> you can see, uh, Magsalt's quite good this batch. <laughs> like, really good. I want to try and get the um, Asylum stuff into my one bar build. It's really, really good.
to it. We're just putting some just pressure into people at range. Yeah, we should probably see just keep. I'm gonna go say hi to the Reds. Do you reckon they'll attack us or not? We're gonna, we're gonna go say hi to them. Yeah, I think they're gonna leave us alone. The Reds look like they're farming um, AP. We're gonna fight the yellows. I'm only doing that because oh he's he's oh he got hit with Dawnbreaker. Curse on him. Go for a streak. I'm gonna go for double frag. Oh, he's he's a very little tanky boy, isn't he? He's very doing very good in his neck with that. Give him that. There, I got him. <laughs> uh, Lord Rob says, "What are you using, please? Uh, you make it look so easy." Uh, Magsork used to be my main class before playing Magical Warden, so I've, I'm very used to the class. Um, that said, the build is very good. We are running the Asylum uh, on the front bar. If you get perfect, you get more damage. Wretched Vitality back bar. Mighty Tudor monster set. Willpower times two. Trainee times two. And then Death Dealers. What happens is we get a stat page that looks pretty freaking tasty. Isn't it come for Dawnbreaker? Yeah. Oh, I got hit with the Nightblade. It's the Nightblade that got us. <clears throat> that Nightblade did... Oh, cheeky, cheeky person. Because if that Nightblade didn't help us with that Tarnish, then the arrow took off our shield. You'll see it in CMX. So you go, uh, damage received. I think it still counts up in combat with him. But I'll show you in this, when it look, like registers. Yeah, it should come up in a sec. I was wondering if I get a res the, uh, respawn. Yeah, we're, we're just going to ride down, okay? I'll just show you the damage we took. So that fight's just in the load. Fire blister, fire lance to tarnish there. 5.2k poison injection, 8,000. And we're just scavenging more. So, like, all of those things from that night blade would hit us for about 7, 8k, which took off our shield. So, he, that night blade, that sniper, timed it really well to get me just as the guy went for the Dawnbreaker. Um, Super says he might try going for the two bar. Um, the two bar is really good. I will be tweaking the one bar to probably add in um, this. This is very, very, very good. I also want to make a health um, sort as well, where we use loads of health. So that way you have like 40,000 health, but still good damage. That's kind of something I'm working on currently. Um, I need to farm a few set pieces though, to make it kind of fully pop. 
Uh, Rob says, uh, appreciate it all and all the builds. Yeah, no worries. I, I enjoy the game. Um, I love like playing here, so I like the PvP. Oh, we don't want to attack those people. I want my ult gen, though. So we're going to leave those. Takes like health sulk. Oh, siege. Freaking siege. Let's go get out of that. Yeah, health sulk. So what it does is we stack health, but we can use proc sets to fix our damage. So we end up having like really high health. So we can just streak away, get some distances. First streak. Come back in, Mr. DK. I got him. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go for this person here. I'll check with chat in a second. Just focus on killing people. Sorry about that. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the DK just messaged us saying, uh, yeah, Ranger always chomps melee. Uh, good fight. Yeah, so looking at um, chat. So... Lord Rob was saying he's getting into PvP. He's a master at dying. <laughs> Honestly, we like this gonna sound a bit daft, but that's kind of a good thing when you first start because you get to see what kind of combos to be aware of. But like, I'm used to knowing that if I get hit with a blast bones or I get hit with a deep fish, I know I'm gonna get hit with a dawnbreaker very quickly. Um, and so. Like dying and kind of all. when you die, rather than going, I'm oh, just dead and respawn. Think about what killed you and how. Have one of those. There you go. You see the asylum pressure that I did to that guy, though? That soul class fighting? Because I was constantly hitting with the asylum, when it hit, it hit like three or four um, status effects because I had the charge. Okay, there's lots of yellows there. Uh, he looks like a squish. Oh, no. Okay, I need to streak because I'm actually quite low on health here. He should have gone for a bash on me. Go for a block. Put another curse on him. Pop. He's dead. Oh, he's literally had so much. Can we get a freaking touch while he's while can go? There, you can stop healing now. Bye bye. <laughs> Go 
Okay, I've got a couple of these. Oh, that's a horrible fear. We'll go for a streak and then we'll go for some roll dodges and shields. Go go for dark deal. He ran off. Put the debuff on him. He got zerg down. Um, yeah, so we're going to the dying comment. Um, when you die, like, just think about what kills you and why. I used to play as a Nightblade, and I used to duel a lot on um, Xbox EU. And more often than not, you would die to like DKs and stuff, and you kind of like, why do they kill you? And it's because they lock you down. It's because they snare you. That it's because you can't escape from their damage. And so, what I learned as a Nightblade from doing all that, those duels with people who were good on those classes, was I need to almost counter them and sort of preempt what they're going to do. So if I go in to attack somebody as a Dragonite, they're going to hit me with Fossilize or Shattering Rock straight away. So I need to have, have a lot of burst or be tanky enough to be able to block it or roll dodge quick enough. And so if you do have that kind of mindset where you learn from your deaths, you will get better at it. Uh, that Hawk's running away. So don't run away. There's a, you're going to frag over there. Oh, is that, is that Necromancer again? I'm waiting for it to pop round. Uh, he's dead. Dude, that, that burst and that Necro was disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Um, Tate says, heal is in PvP. 55k health or something. That went fully buffed. And Soup said they used to run a Mag Ward and heal with 60,000 health. <laughs> That'd be just too annoying. Oh, they're not full of me. I'm trying to like, bait some to run around. Um, with the health sulk, though, the idea is that we're going to use um, essentially like proc sets so like drug akin is what I'm thinking with the asylum staff because that will give you lots of sustained damage oh he was not expecting that burst was he come, on, come out I've got a frag with you I'm going to let him attack me and I've got an overload on the frag come on So waiting for him to come. Well, I'm not determined to get him. When that door opens, we are so gonna get him. Um, tro like tank builds and stuff can be really fun. And hit. See if I can bait him down. Now I was hoping if I ate that meteor, I'd hope he'd come to me. Yeah, they're not going to come down, are they? Is that door open? No, it's not. Oh, they've got some yellows following me. I've got them to do two streaks and just get some distance, see if they'll follow. Nah. Oh, he's here. He's here. The Nightblade sold the kill. Yeah, I used to run a, a troll a warden build. It used to be like a tank build. And what I used to do is to just snare people with a double frag there. Streak is so good for the, that kind of stuff. You just sat and ate a toxic barrage. Oh, 
we'll go around this pillar break line of sight. Someone was playing, trying to kill Dan from behind, weren't they? Oh! So that was a crushing shot. Did you see all the like, 1200 status effects? <laughs> like, so much freaking damage. Oh, siege. Cold fire. So much siege here. Go for a frag on that and a crushing. You see, that's a crushing that got him there. See, that tarnished the uh, monster helmet set. It's not great. It'd be great if I could see Zebra though. You know the one where you heavy attacking at the axe? That hit me and he didn't gank me. Yeah, we need to siege this. So many snipers! Like so many snipers! I feel quite proud. I love a snipe build. Pop. Honestly, the asylum stuff really freaking good on Sork. Gives it so much pressure you wouldn't normally have. We do have a lot of siege on us though. So much siege. I just want the keep. I want the AP. Are any of them going to follow me? No. Oh, so freaking close to getting him. That's what we want, Curse. I went to pass swap. Hopefully my Curse gets him. We might get in, I think, if they siege it fully. Yay, they sent up siege finally. Let's just get away from that death. Yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, Sorcerer build? Trying to bait people out. Isn't dead. Oh, just did you see his health bar? That other one almost went as well. That cold fire uh, siege is really doing damage to me. Ooh. Just moving around. Yeah, it's uh... Sork's definitely good this patch. Definitely good this patch. Uh, Boxing says, do I play on NA or EU? Uh, I play on PC EU currently. I do have an account on PCNA that I do play from time to time. It 
So yeah, all of this is on PC EU. You've got quite a mix of players in here tonight. Oh, look at him, he died. Come on. So many yellows here. <laughs> Boy says, ah, oh, shame you're a traitor to the queen. <laughs> I used to play on um, AD when I was on Xbox. Like, all my characters are AD. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I got him. There you go. We go for the street now. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he can't, like, tank. When you got an AoE stun, it's glorious. I'm assuming uh, you're on PCEU as well, uh, boxing. Oh, look at this. This like, this guard feels tankier than a lot of players in PvP. Oh, freaking cold fire. There's, we're just going to wait. As soon as that keep opens, we can get this big tick. Yeah, I'm in... Uh, Grey host now, you're welcome to come and say hi. Hey, Super said he's also on PCEU. AD though. Ah. I should really set up some other alliances, to be honest. They're heavy attack me to death, that guy. Yeah, that door's gonna be pretty close. Yeah, 25k. Uh, you're on your way to row. Yeah, yeah, good. So that door's open. We oh, someone hit me with Defiler. Yeah, they've got lots of siege there. I'm going to risk it. I get my shield off? I managed to get into the keep, okay. I uh, killed him. <laughs> he got the guy through the door. <laughs> you wouldn't cap the keep if I was there. Like, can I pull some people upstairs with me? No is the answer. All the the gates are dead. <laughs> Just cheeky frag into a curse, roll dodge. That person upstairs isn't even watch what they're doing. Well, the AD's full of bots. <laughs> I, I think every alliance has their own uh, questionable player base. He's dead. And go. No. That toxic barrage is what's... Oh, my health bar is very low.
He's using the uh, low level Buffy to stay alive. That's well cheeky. Oh my goodness, my health bar. He needs to use way of the fire, he's not using way of the fire. So you can see, like, we are tanky enough to hold out some burst. I should have burnt that camp in all honesty. Hit me in the gate. You threw in the gate. Uh, boxing says Salk looks quite fun, to be honest. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Hot, lots of reaction times are needed. They actually hit me with the, the, the seeds bag. We're actually going to burn the camp. Nobody's like burning it. That guy's got curse on him. Is that, what am I running on my Sulk? Uh, I am using sets at the present. I'm using the uh, Asylum Staff. Lightning, really, really good. That gives you basically the pressure that you lack on a Sulk. I then use... Um, oh, Red Group coming in. That's Ball Group. I then use um, two Trainee, two Willpower... Reg Vitality Bat Bar, Death of His Fate, and Mighty Tudin. Like, this is like probably the most balanced sort you'll get because you've got sustained damage with Crushing Shot due to the Asylum stuff and charge. You've got the Burst still because you've got such a high Magicka pull. You've got the Minor Breach, which is from the Charged um, Absorb Samuel Glyph. You've got Major Breach, you've got 9k pen debuffs, plus 4k. So, we've got like 13,000 pen on this build. So, we have a good amount of penetration. So yeah, it's a pretty solid setup. That's a red ball group, that is. Uh, Zach T says, get me a Nightblade. Yeah, I was on the Nightblade earlier. I literally got, People saw it like live on stream. I was killing people with like 32,000 health or less, like consistently. Anybody above 33, 34k health, it was more of a push. Like, I could kill them, or I could burst them down and get the follow-up hit. And then like 35k is like, that's, yeah, that, that's going to be hard to kill. Uh, we need that door to open, we do. So I want the keep. I've been here for way too long, and I want my AP. <laughs> oh. You see me chilling in front of the door. Are you a uh, Maylos? Soup. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. The Azino. Let me have a look where you are. Uh, now, boxing... How would you load that out? I'm using Death Deer's feet and the Asylum staff. And I got wretched on the bat bar.
Uh, Sack says, what do you think about Order's Wrath for the Nightblade 2-inch Ganker? Um, you could swap the Moth set for it. You'd have good damage. Because a lot of the damage which people will overlook comes from Wrecking Blow. That Wrecking Blow is really freaking good. Like I'm constantly hitting people for like 10k with that, if not higher. Really, really strong set. Yeah, I'm gonna push up to the top and see if I can. Put down my. Uh... Oh, I, I got greedy. I went way too greedy. It was the executioner that did it. I went to go and shield and then um, streak, and I didn't. That was my fault. I was trying to get rid of all the siege. Um, you have orders and spriggans and masters burn the bat bar. The, are you playing no CP, Zach? Um, Boxing says he's looking at playing a Magblade, but not a Ganker. Trying to figure out a build for it. Um, with Magic and Nightblade, you have to ask yourself um, what do you want it to do? Are you wanting to be a melee Magblade or a sta uh, ranged Magblade? Because they are very, very different classes. Although it's like the same class, they play really, really different. You can't get the res on me. I think it's our second death tonight on this, or was it third death in like an hour on this club? It's, it's like really, really good. <laughs> like, Sulk's really good. The 42 minutes, I think we died like two, two, three times. Melee is stronger, used to be my main. Ooh, I, that was... I did not... <laughs> I thought I was going to hit the thing. That was the uh, tarnish into concealed. I streaked and I was hoping to hit the top of the wall when I didn't. <laughs> that's just... Well, that's my fault. Uh, just haven't figured anything out so far to have damage and tankiness. How much AP did we get that? We got 14,000. Sweet. The farmer Hikajo for money. Yeah, Hikajo sells really well. Uh, we're going to go down to Nickel and then Ride. Um, yeah, if you go for Moody Mag Blade, you're honestly playing a Stam Blade. But. I think when you look at the classes, you'll see that a lot of them, like a lot of the skills that you'd use on a Stam Nightblade or a Magma Nightblade are the same. You both use Cloak. You both use Concealed Weapon or Surprise that generally Concealed because it's better. That movement speed and the extra 10% um, damage out of stealth means that it's quite a good spammable. You then use Killer's Blade or Executioner. So you're, again, you're using a kind of a hybrid setup there. You might use Sap Essence or... Um, You notice I killed that guy's Twilight.
Ah, oh, I got so freaking close to getting him. There, go on. He's a good sulk. Love me some sulk. Um, yeah, so with the Night Blade, if you're going to play like Mag Blade, you're playing Stam Blade, really. Like the Stam Night Blade, the Mag Night Blade are like, the same thing. There's a group in there that's a, that's a farm group, you're not going to get much luck in there. How are we doing for this? Oh, yeah, we're, we're tier one, sweet. Let's go to the lumber, because that's yellow. Maybe we can use that as a springboard to go to Alessia. I like Alessia. So I don't know if that kind of helps solve your problem boxing, but you kind of want to go for... Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, you kind of want to go for a melee mag blade if you're going to go sort of melee and just accept that you're going to have stam skills. It's just how it is. Um, if we're a ranged mag blade, oh, there's a red here. Let me go say hi to them. Let me say hi. Hello. Are they going to come follow us? See if these guys will come fight me. Come on. They want all the guards to help them, they do. that one the fat dead? Is that ne Necro dead? Four level 41. <laughs> I'm going to say hi to Stan. He's pretty decent, he is. I'm going to say hi to him. Uh, Zach says, have you ever drilled Malcolm? Really? The guy's trying to attack me. Hello. He's using where the fire is. He's getting ready to hit me with an in-caps pet bow. Just a heads up. You ready? This night blade. That magnum shot is really freaking toxic. He's really fucking. Come back here. I'm going to get a complete resource back. Oh, 
He needs incap, he does. He's like so, so evasive. There. He's good though. He's a very good nightbag. Give him that. This is probably going to be a stalemate. This is going for quite a while. Uh, yes, I have Jordan Malcolm, by the way. I was on a warden, though. He's like, Malcolm's very good, very good. When I was on my warden, it was a stalemate. Warden has uh, slabs, so he's like, like immune to sulks. Waiting for the toxic barrage. I keep getting him below. Get some magic back. I'm gonna have to charge my orb, I think. That was a weird there, that was really weird there, wasn't it? Ah, we got him. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good fight. That was—he was very good, very, very good. That was a good little fight. Oh, that one's still down there. Okay, let's go to the mine. Yeah, what do you think of that fight? Very, very good night blade. Oh, I love it when you get like fights like that where you can really go one on one with somebody. I see Sax uh, asking have I jeweled Malcolm, which I said earlier, and then A's like, there's your jewel. Yeah, what do you guys think of that Nightblade? Yeah, 
Then you can't put Fury on the front bar. A yes and no. Oh, I hit bars when you bars up. I think the uh, Endless Fury is decent. So many ads, like... You can see, though, like, by running this build, yeah? I show my sustain. My sustain is, like, ridiculous. 2,400. With a potion, 3,000 magical recovery I have. <laughs> So, do you see why I don't run out of resource on this? <laughs> like, I can just keep attacking and spamming stuff for ages. <laughs> yeah, that's over 3k regen. It's pretty freaking awesome. Hello, Mr. Sork. You come to play? He's got some overloads, so I'm just going to reset my buffs. That's a good question, good question, shotgun him. I'm going to wait for him to run out of his overload. Oh, he's got his old mate coming in. Yeah, that, that's a. He's a good talk, yep. Yeah. Don't know him, he's a good talk. Oh, for sure. That's a little group though, that is. He weaves really well. I'm just going to go block, block down and say hi. When it's like that, you just... Hi, people. But there, there is definitely some like etiquette in PvP. Let's go nickel. Enjoy nickel. Is that him there? I think that's him there. Yeah, he was good. We could go to Brindle and get some AP. <laughs> Boxing's like, your sustain is insane. <laughs> oh, it literally is ridiculous. 2.3k Two, 2 without, like, and then we put potion, 2.9k. But this is honestly a ridiculously strong build. And do we have one in continuous or two? I've got two in more continuous. And our shield, um, oh. As I was showing, um, before I got rudely interrupted, uh, Super says, do you have a build video of this one yet? Uh, not currently. I, I should probably take some footage from this stream, though, because it is a very, very good build. Um, yeah, as I was showing before I got interrupted, really freaking good. Like, really good. So long with that, it's gone yellow. There's some fights over here. We'll stay around here. Oh, there's a red camp. We should probably burn the camp. Let's burn the camp. Goodbye, camp. Yeah, no, I haven't got a build video of this specific setup yet.
I can see these guys killing the others. They're like a proper group they are. See, is that you over here? NY Loz. Well, that, that, that poor blue, he's getting picked on by the yellows and the reds. <laughs> he's doing all right though, give him that. He, he's doing okay. Okay, that's not you, not you, okay. I want some ult gen. Oh. Some overload off. That's definitely a red group, that is. Right. They're, they're trying to help him learn there. Seen people use barb trap in PvP before. That was a good burst up by that dude. You can see, like, without the uh, execute, you can still burst people. <laughs> We're just trolling. <laughs> We'll leave them, okay? I'll pop off that shield in a sec. Freaking tank. I've got a couple as well. I'll go down here and just see if I can pull them around. They're not coming this way. The night raiders, though. Give them that. I should put on. Hey, you come here, mate.
I'm gonna go for that Templar we will because he's quite squishy. Oh, he's dead. Please mate go. We went for the uh, yellow because the yellow came in. I don't know who he is, but he's doing alright. <laughs> Where's that Templar? We're gonna just go up here and get some distance because I've got a lot of people just hit me with beams. He should have. We want that like yellow to be blue. Be, he'd be really good as a duo. At Mailers, he's pretty decent. Mailers. Oh. Uh, he's in good ears. <laughs> yeah, it's all so good. Let's go defend the keep. I've got some AP force. I, I want my defense ticked. Oh, they got me. That was a good. That was good. Give them that. It was a soul tether that got it. We've been fighting here for ages. We want that defense tick. Oh, the red. They're in there inside here. Oh. That's where that red group is. Another CP. We can drop down, see if we can pause some bait. Trap Souls is decent. But he's at Crotif up at the moment, so we're going to move around here, put on our other regen buffs. He's definitely relying on that uh, proc, isn't he? It's, it's burst. Quite interesting is that we don't see scavenge and demise on a D game often. Oh, 
got no bu my buffs. That was a scavenging demise. How much did that hit me for? A scavenging demise. Yeah, 6k. That's a really that's a really interesting setup to fight. I've not. You have to spend so much time trying to dodge that proc. I like that. That's a really. I've not seen a DK do that. Was it Streptor? He did a good job with that. We are going to go up to Bleakers. And I'm going to call it shortly because it is almost midnight where I am. I am somewhat tired. Red's up here. Put debuffs on him. He was tanky, wasn't he? Thank you, thank you, Warden. I wonder if I should get a defense tick for that. Like, I know they weren't sieging, but even still. Chowman's under attack. We'll go to Chow. Like, we're going to push over to Chowman and then kind of see what's happening there. And I think when I die next, I'll probably wrap the stream up there because, as I said, it is midnight where I am currently in the UK. Um, I want to show you one thing before I do, though, which is something I've been working on, which I think is pretty cool. And I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. Uh, mine's under attack, so we're going to hit that quick and stop that from happening. Okay, we were going to hit that, but there's a lot of them there. Okay. I'm just going to reset my resources to get rid of all the freaking dots on me. So let's just see if I can pull some of them down here. Uh, he, he didn't want to come down. Alright, we'll go up then. To them. He's using the mask lock for is. That's him dead. There's the rest of the reds up here. I think they're fighting at the top, are they? Okay, they're at the front here, though. Him dead. I did the what I did. He pushed the door and it put him in and out. 
That happened to me the other day on stream. That's really annoying. Uh, the curse would have gone. Uh, apparently we're, on, we're attacking this, but I can't see the siege. Unless it's on the inside. That, uh, that DK has gone over that, that side, hasn't he? They were waiting for that uh, DK to pop out. I've hit, I've hit him with the LE susceptibility. Oh, that's right, Super. Oh, we got I, I killed his Twilight because knowing that he would have a really small heal because he's like reliant on that for his heal. Yeah, the thing I want to show is uh, it's a, I've been working on the build uh, calculator. But like a simplified version of one, so you can use it as a way to just see is your build viable or not. Okay, so this fight's in the middle, um, and that's what I want to kind of show and see what people think of it. That's where the way in. <laughs> okay, we're going to pop up here. I feel like Mag Salt's in a really good place. Uh, Faithful says, uh, where are they playing Xbox US server? This is on PC EU. I just use a controller. <laughs> he's just, as soon as you stun him, he's like, nope, that, that drops all his damage, mate. <laughs> Oh, you, you play the same. Sweet. Literally, how many procs do you chuck on me? I've got the Master, Snake and the Stars, Wrath of Elements, Dark Convergence. There's literally four procs at once. Uh, what alliance do you play? I, I, I got stunned, I couldn't see you break. <coughs> Ebonheart Pat. Oh, as I said, when I die on that one, I'll call it there. What I'm going to do though, just before I go, is I want to show you something that I've been working on. Um, I think it's really, really cool. But obviously, I need to see what you guys think. So bear with me once it while I just tell the stream to switch over. So, yeah, I'm going to make a switch now. Okay, so this is something I've been working on, and this is essentially what is a build editor. So the idea of this, I'm just going to close the ESO, get rid of all that sound. The idea of this is that it allows you to kind of get a quick feel for does your build work or not, and it's been kind of made in a way to give you all the key stuff you need to know. So what you have, and I'll, I'll zoom in, is you have like key metrics, so like range, 
Single target damage, single target burst, potential from dots, AoE, AoE burst, defense, sustain, mobility, utility, self heal strength, group heal strength, and class identity. And the way in which this works is that let me put it there. you can then use this as a way to kind of get an idea that will your class be viable or not. And this red line, it's kind of like the average. So anything that's above this red line is kind of this is a strength of the build you're going to play. So for example, this is the sort of build I'm pretty much using currently. Let me take off the masters. Um, and you can switch all the sets out. So we are using clever... Uh, Wretch Vitality, and we are using Crafty Alfeek with Dead Dealer's Feet, and we are using one Magma and one Baron. So you can see on this setup that we have loads of mobility, 32 out of 40, so we're really mobile on this class. We have really high sustain, above average sustain, and our single target damage is above average, and our burst is also above average. Is it the highest burst in the game? No, because we don't have an execute that we can, because of our bar space. Um, and then on the right side, you get some numerical values, which kind of tell you. So anything that's green is like a strength. Anything that's red is kind of, it's a weakness of the class. So for example, like group heal strength, this sorcerer has like very little group heal st strength. The class has some base one, so I could change a few skills, but I won't really be able to make this a healer. And I can use this to change all the things like the Mundus. So I want to go and get a bit more sustain on this. I can then chuck on the action and my sustain will go up. If I want to go and change my glyphs, I can change my glyphs. If I want to go, actually I want to not be a vampire. By going to human, I drop a lot of defense. So by being stage three, I gain a lot more defense than I would otherwise. And the idea of this editor is that it's to give you an easier way without having to use the US EP build editor to go what will work. And I've put all the good sets here too, so that any good PvP set that you would use is here. So generally these are the sets that are good for PvP. Anything else is kind of like, it's okay, but it's not great. These are like the best ones. Same for the monster sets. Same for the mythics. And what's good about this is that all of this calculates for you. So that's what I've been working on um, behind the scenes. I'm unsure obviously if people like that or would find that useful, but it's to try and give people an idea of ways you can just get a better understanding of does your build work or not, or do you need to tweak something? And like the way I did like thought about this was that if like my sustain was really bad, I could then change a few things to get some more out of it and some things you can't change so like group utility that's quite hard to change because there's beyond a few sets there's nothing you can do your class has a certain amount of utility built in the dot damage is a certain amount so if i switch this to a dk my dot damage goes up quite drastically because i've got access to the venomous claw i've got access to um, noxious breath i've got the bonus from the passives so my single all my damage goes up but my sustain and my defense go down my, my mobility drops massively so that tells you that when you build this you need to think of a way to increase that such as race against time to kind of help fix it um the numbers will obviously will be tweaked a bit but i wonder what you guys think of that um i'm gonna put a post to my discord so if you have questions about the editor and stuff and how it does work then um joining the discord is kind of a really good place to do that Uh, there's a link there to the discord um, and I will be making this accessible hopefully in a couple days or so but um, it's obviously like in alpha because it does need a lot of sort of tweaking with the numbers like you'll see like all the numbers are like all calculates here so it's quite complicated and the, the calculations tab so like lots and lots of calculations and numbers and all the classes have their own little stats and all the sets have their own stats. There's a lot going on with it. So yeah, I'd like to know what you think of that if you do get a chance. Um, I am going to kind of call it here. So if you do have any sort of questions, Discord, as I say, obviously like, comment, share and subscribe really, really helps. Um, 
And if you want to support myself, I do have a Patreon. There's details there. But as always, I'm going to catch you in the next video on the next stream. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and bye.